I don't enjoy selling, but I enjoy the money. I enjoy the mastery of the whole thing. And I enjoy the automation and some of the smarter ways to sell. You see, I've, I've been uh, in the sales profession now for many, many, many years. I, I got my first official sales job in 1983. And, um, but even before then, I was selling. Hell, we're all selling, aren't we? Look, um, I, I've been in sales ever since. Uh, even though I've, I've been, technically, I've been self-employed and all of that, had my own business. But really, come on, without, without selling, you know, nothing happens. The cash register doesn't ring. The money's got to come from somewhere. So, I've been selling all my life, all my adult life. And people just think I love it. See, they just think that I am so much in love with selling. Well, I'm not, really. I love the fact that I'm damn good at it. I love the fact that I know a lot of different ways to uh, to make money in this profession, a lot of different ways to automate it so that you're bringing the very best prospective buyers for you so that you're never dealing with rejection, you're never dealing with cold calling. I love all of the strategic marketing types of things that you can do to bring huge numbers of pre-qualified people ready to, you know, you know, basically standing in line ready for money in hand. But look, you don't have to enjoy it. Uh, I, I've said this to many, many, many people over the years. You know, like, well, I really don't enjoy selling. Well, who cares? You enjoy making a ton of money? Do you enjoy making a lot of money? Well, yeah, all right. Well, there's smarter ways to sell, you know, that you certainly don't have to cold prospect, deal with rejection or any of that crap. Oh, you know, just two days ago, right about this time in the afternoon, because I do uh, my sales calls in the afternoon, uh, three, four hours a day, every day, and uh, I, I had a guy say, uh, he told me no. Yeah, you heard it. I had a guy on uh, just 48 hours ago, right here in this in this room where I do my sales calls. I had a guy tell me no, and I'm not I'm not I'm not being overly dramatic about it. I'm not bragging about it. It is what it is. I I honestly didn't know how to handle it. I mean it most sincerely. I'm just not used to hearing the word no. I'm just not. I. Uh, it's been so long since anybody said no to me, and I mean it. I am not bragging here. I've, I've worked very, 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 very hard to develop the knowledge, skills, and abilities to develop marketing systems that bring all of these people to me already heavily pre-qualified, ready to do business with me. The positioning is awesome. Uh, they don't see me as a salesperson. They absolutely, positively do not see me as a salesperson. I'm a trusted advisor. I'm an, I'm an expert that they want to do business with. But I had a guy say no to me and just stomp me. I, it's been so damn long. And, you know, I've been thinking about that ever since. I've been thinking about that because with a lot of people that are in the sales profession, they hear no every day. They hear no many times a day. In fact, some of the... Uh, the, the people I learned to sell from, they said, if you're not getting enough people saying no to you, you're not selling hard enough. Bullshit. Bullshit. Pardon my language. I don't want to offend you. But uh, that is uh, that is not selling as I know it. Selling as I know it is when uh, you're using all kinds of other marketing methods and systems and processes uh, to bring you uh, you know, to, to, to pre-qualify people, to bring you the very best prospective buyers all ready to do business with you. And then your job is to finalize the deal, upsell them if possible, cross-sell them if possible, in some cases downselling them. But your job is to, to complete the transaction and make them feel good, set up the next sale. You know, make them feel good about their purchase, build a little rapport with them. There's always that buyer's remorse. Your job is to do all of that and help set them up for the next sale. Help them feel good about what they just did and uh, make it easy for them to come back and buy again and again and again. So, look, I'm proud to be in this profession. I am very, very grateful that there are ways of selling that don't involve all of that nonsense where people are saying no to you. I, quite frankly, I, uh, I ended the phone call, 
got up, got up to make myself a cup of tea, and I thought to myself, man, that's the first time anybody said no to me that I can remember. I mean, it's just been a long, 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 long time. Uh, because when the positioning is right, they don't say no. Now, sometimes they don't have the money. So sometimes, uh, and sometimes they're just not ready to make a, you know, they'll, they're, they're just not quite ready to go. I have those situations. Um, but I don't, I don't have somebody to say, nope, I'm not, I, you know, it just, because when people are coming to me, they're coming to me ready to do business. And that's the way it should be. You know, I'm tired of salespeople getting the short end of the stick. Salespeople, nobody respects a salesperson. And so your job to be the ultimate salesperson is to get yourself positioned properly so that you're not perceived as just some other some salesperson or something like that. But look, get rid of the idea that you have to really enjoy it. You don't. I have some days I enjoy it. I have some things about what I do that I really enjoy. But to say that I... I'm just loving every minute of it. It's just nonsense. And yet people, people really think that about me. People see me and, uh, you know, they see me in action and they think, man, he really loves what he does. Well, I love part of it, but there's a, there's a lot of things that, uh, that I don't necessarily love, but I love the fact that I'm damn good at it. And I love the fact that I've mastered it. And I love the fact that I've developed systems and processes and methods and strategies that completely eliminate all the crap that I was going through 20 years ago when I used to hear no all the time. Because that's the way I was trained back then. You've got to deal with all this rejection and all that nonsense. It really is nonsense. There are better ways to sell. So if you're one of my clients, you're learning some of these methods now, and I'm extremely grateful. If you're not one of my clients and you want to know more about what I'm doing, click on the link below. And bye for now.